Let's go in. Let's go. Welcome back to another up and down golf video, everybody. And I have an exciting announcement to make because as the title and the thumbnail suggest, we have a new member in the up and down golf crew. And that is, you might recognize him from a past video, Mr. Cole, he's back. Uh, we had that match the other day at Iguani Farms a couple weeks ago. And now uh, he plays golf pretty much as much as I do. And it's a struggle to even get Jacob out on the course sometimes. So I thought it'd be a good idea to welcome a new member into Up and Down Golf officially. So glad to have you, Cole. Yeah, uh, Nick was saying that uh, you know he, be you know Jacob beats him all the time, so he wanted somebody in the group who he could consistently beat on a day to day basis. So he oh, decided yeah, to have sure. me join the join the clan. So, but I'm excited to be here. Excited to be here. Yeah. So you'll be seeing Cole in a lot of videos, hopefully. But today in this video, we're here at Knoxville Municipal, basically our home course. It's the course that's the closest to both of us, and we're going to be playing a two man scramble for six holes. And so we're just gonna see how low we can shoot. Uh, my swing's been feeling okay. I think Cole's been hitting the ball. He's been crushing it lately, he's yeah. told me. But uh, what do you think a goal should be for this video? I don't know, I think we can shoot six under. It's not, a, it's not too bad. I'm trying to think of, we have any, we have one drivable par four, a pretty easy par three coming up. and Two easy par threes. Two easy par threes coming up. And then yeah. a reachable par five. I think we could, I think we could get five or six under, especially on the, especially on that par five is pretty reasonable, yeah. even if we hit three wood. As long as we're playing well, I think we can do close to that. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to set the goal. I think we should set the goal at like five, four or five under. And uh, hopefully we can outdo our expectations, but. If we hit four or five under, leave a like, leave a subscription, hit the little, uh, hit the bell on there. So you get an alert whenever we post a video. Yeah, but. for sure. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, and let us know what kind of videos you want to see next and we'll try to make it happen so this first hole here i'm sure you've seen it if you watch our videos we always start on this hole for these videos it seems like but it goes straight up there into the fairway and then a dog leg to the left the greens are just right over those trees i think it's up in the fairway yeah okay i think cole is going to try to take it left of where i went i'm going to leave us a pretty a longer shot than we need. Skied it just a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that's going to get out far enough, so I guess we'll probably have to take my shot here. But it shouldn't be fine. We should still have a wedge into the green. Is that rough? Unbelievable. Okay, we got 106 yards to the pin here. It's playing 113, so it's going to be just a nice, smooth gap wedge probably for both of us. Yeah, um, Nick has rescinded my invitation to the Up and Down Golf Channel. Seeing as how I chunked that first shot, so he said I'm no longer on the channel. So this will be my last video, guys. Bye. Okay, see ya. Draw a little left. That good could ball. be pretty good distance, but a little out to the right. That's whole high. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, cut some. I think that's on two. We'll have to see which one's closer when we get up there. Okay, so Cole landed just on the back of the green and I landed a little bit short. We're about equally distant to the hole, but I think we're gonna take mine over here because it's a little bit flatter of a putt and the green is in better shape than it is over here. Hopefully one of us can roll this in. Nick said he's gonna play it a little bit out to the right. His greens are kind of slow this morning, so he should hit it with a little bit of speed. Go in. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. My own birdie, I guess. Yeah, right Nick, carrying us already. How do you feel about so far? I feel I feel really good after that hole. Okay, so a really good start for us after the first hole. Uh, I didn't expect to get my own birdie there, if I'm being honest, but Cole's probably going to get a birdie here by himself on this one. But either way, we're one under after one hole, right on track for our goal of five, four, five under, whatever we said. We got a short par three coming up next. Just going to be probably like a little over 100 yards, kind of like the shot that we had on the last hole. I've historically never played this hole well at all. I always hit my wedge far right, so hoping we can actually do something. Pins at the very back for this par three. It's playing 123 yards. Uh, I'm going to hit gap wedge. Where are you hitting, Cole? Yeah, I'm going to hit a little 50, see if I can get it back there for the first time ever on this hole. So we're going to go with the same order now as the last hole, so I'm going to lead us off. Hopefully I can get a good shot down there, and if not, I know Cole's going to back me up. Right on it. Gotta go, I think. Oh, the center green. Center green. Safe shot. Again, yeah. Nick with the safe shot. I'll try to put one right on it. Yeah, go for it. The wind is pretty, pretty good from right to left. That was. Looks like it was hit well. Might be a little short. 
pretty much the same shot, middle of the green. Couldn't get it back there enough today with the wind, but. Yeah, we probably should have clubbed up a little bit. We decided to take Nick's ball again. We were on the middle of the green for the most part. He's got a better putt at it though. Should be a little left to right. And let's see if he can continually carry us. Get up. Go in. Oh, really close there. Okay, so we're in for par now. But let's see if Cole can run this in. He saw the line, so we'll see what he can do. Oh, come on. Oh, he gave it a chance. That's all we can ask for. So we're going to be still one under now after two holes. Not too bad. Par threes are always the toughest in these challenges. Not too bad. Just tried to give it a run at it, just straight at it. Didn't have to worry about the putt back, obviously. Okay, so the third hole of this video, it's a par four. Pretty short one. Nick hits more fairways than I do, so we'll probably go first again and hit the fairway, and then I'll just like reach back and try to hit it as hard as I can. Yeah. And then miss the fairway probably. And I can't hit my driver at all right now. I don't know what it is with my driver, but I've been hitting three wood off the tee pretty much for the past few days. So I'm gonna keep doing that today, but I'm hitting it really well, so that's all I can ask for, I guess. Right down the fairway, like I was yeah, saying. Nick doesn't really miss fairway so much. Fairway has a pretty good down slope, so that should run out pretty well. Just hit it too high. Mm, just hooked it. I was hit super hard though. Well, I think we're gonna have to play mine again I think here. We're definitely gonna have to use Nick's again. Oh well, it's in the fairway. We'll, see. we'll be good. So I left this way short. I kind of skied that three wood. So we still got 167 yards of the pin. The wind is behind us. So it's gonna make it a little bit shorter of a shot, but. We did not make it easy for ourselves here. Oh, don't cut. We'll fade. Stay up. All right, we'll have a good chip for it right there. That's right at it. It goes. Oh, it's just short. Okay, well, we'll have a pretty easy chip, I think, up there. We both landed just right next to the green. Uh, the pin is pretty short-sided here. Not a ton of green to work with. Found yours? Found my ball from the other fairway. Nice. Okay, we got a decision to make here because I don't know which ball to take. These are pretty similar shots. Which one do you think would be easier to make? Uh, this one's pretty flat. We just kind of go like right at it. Okay. Hit it off the fringe. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll, we'll take Coles and hopefully one of us will make it. I'm just gonna go right at it. Kind of close the face a little bit. Come on, go in. Let's go! Let's go, baby! A chip in. <laughs> chip in for birdie. Let's go, sir. That was beautiful. Well, birdie, thanks to Nick for the uh, really good shot in the fairway, as mine was really far that way. Oh, yeah, well, after the tee shot, though, Cole carried us there. So, oh, baby. Put, it, put it close. That was almost right at the pin, just a little bit short, and then amazing chip in. That was hype. It's a good day at up and down golf channel. We had to wait like 47 minutes on the tee box. Yeah, the that's shot. why he hit that hook there. We were both really tight. Give us some likes and Nick and I'll do a push-up competition. You know, something random and on the tee box. And Cole will destroy know. me probably. Yeah, we're two under through three holes now. Uh, halfway through this challenge and we're basically right on track with where we wanted to be. Uh, so we got a pretty short part three coming up next. Should be just a pitching wedge hopefully. And hopefully we can get another one close and make another birdie. Okay, what we got here? It's about 140 yards with slope. Again, I mean, it's a really windy day here in Knoxville, so may have to hit something, maybe club down, I think. Winds that are back. Is it behind us? Yeah, I think it's behind us, because it was on the par four right there. Hole in one alert. Hole in one alert. Oh, hole in one alert? Okay, I got nine iron here. Just gonna hit a soft nine iron. Cole's actually gonna hit a gap wedge, which is crazy to me, but hopefully one of us can put it close. Looks like he's That is a little bit short of the green. Short. A little bit short of the green. Didn't hit that overtly well. But that was off. Just pulled it left. I don't know where that came down. We might be in trouble here though. <laughs> Can we play this hole any worse? Okay, by some kind of miracle, mine actually landed, or it ended up just right off the green here. A pretty good angle to attack the pin out. A lot of green to work with. Cole's went way left, so we're gonna have to take mine. We need another chip in right here, Cole. I yeah, think I you really, should go first here for the- I really love him. Okay, I can go first. For the uh, good luck, like we had last time. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, it sat down too fast. That's not terrible, though. 
really not what we're looking for for par but hopefully nick will put it close i'll go ahead and mark this okay and greens are kind of wet so it made it kind of difficult to get the ball to skip let's go baby oh man yeah we have a pretty good look at par so okay two uh not great chips but we got two attempts here to make this par putt only like six six feet or so Nice, super clutch. Uh, again, both par threes we've parred now, which yeah. isn't ideal. Not ideal, especially with the wind kind of mess with us a little bit on that one. Especially it's a short, short par three with wind with a little wedge. Kind of a weird shot. So we're still two under now after four holes. A little disappointing, but we still have a pretty short par four here and then a reachable par five on the next one. Oh, yeah. So eagles are still in play. On this one, playing from the tips again, so we'll have to see if we can actually go for it. Wind's kind of into us, so, so probably not. This make, it's going to be a long tee shot here. Go for it. My hair's looking awful today. Okay, the wind is definitely picking up here. Hopefully the audio isn't terrible. But it's like 350 to the pin, but it's straight into the wind, which makes it a much longer hole. So I know I'm just going to be hitting the three wood like I have been doing today and try to get it to like 100 yards out, hopefully. I think Cole's going to be hitting driver. As always. Mr. Driver. And I'm sure if I can put one out there, he's gonna just try to hit it as hard as he can. And hopefully he doesn't hook the heck out of it this time. No, you're fine. Yeah, on top of that fine over there. He's on top of the ridge out there, so he should have a pretty level shot to the green, actually. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's gonna get caught in the wind, but... That was dead down the middle of the fairway with a beautiful draw. Great shot, Cole. I'm sure we're probably going to be using that one. I hit a draw and lined up for a draw. <laughs> so Cole's ball landed right here, dead center of the fairway. He went to kick my ball down here to join us. Mine just landed right up there on the top of the hill. The pin is playing 83 yards up this hill here. So it should be just a little wedge for both of us. Not even a full swing. I'm going to let Cole go first. He earned it with that swing that he had there. Oh, he left it short. That's fun. Okay. Oh no. Two terrible shots. Again, like we did on the last two. Okay, we're gonna need another chip in here for a birdie. At least gotta put it up here, knock it in for par at worst. Uh, I'll let Cole go first here. He's the good luck on the chips. That was a really good display on how to just ruin a perfect tee shot. Sit down. Ooh, not terrible. I really didn't sit down at all. I have to play a little more of a runner, I guess. Struggling. Let's go, baby. Stop. Get in. Get in. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Two chips in for. Let's birdie. go. Yes, sir. That's insane. I We're can't feel it. We are literally amazing at golf. The short. I mean, this is up and down golf, but for this video, we're just going up. Don't even have to get back up, down. Up, up, no down. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's that insane. Good. As the crowd goes wild, as he walks up. Easy, just like wow. we drops the ball. Had just a like we drew it up. I mean, I love that distance to chip in. I yeah. knew I was gonna make that. It's That's unbelievable. Why, That's why I hit it there because I mean, I knew I was gonna make the chip. Yeah, of course. So now somehow, after five holes, we're three under par. Uh, we saved ourselves with chips around the green because we have not hit the best approach shots. But I mean, three under is three under, no matter how you do it. Honestly, we're just playing to our strengths. We really can't putt. So I mean, yeah, we, just, played, we played just some chip shots, uh, super easy. I mean, you know, chipping in is way easier than hitting a you know one foot putt. Yeah, I agree completely. So we're gonna be ending this video, sixth hole. It's a par five. Uh, it's dead straight, but there is some water down there that you gotta hit over to approach the green. I think I'm actually gonna hit driver here and see if I can hit a good one. And Cole, if you just do what you did, if you just did, do what you did on the last one. I think Nick's sick. He said he's going to hit driver. Unbelievable. I just want to hit it hard for once. I just want to hit a hit a club hard and hit it far. But hopefully if I hit a bad one, Cole can save us with a good drive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he hit the ball in the air. We're not even worried where the ball goes. Well, Nick, I'm happy I got it. I hit Nick it high. Nick has finally got greater than a five-degree launch <laughs> angle on his driver. It's unbelievable. About time. It's a great day in the world. Oh, quit turning. No. I didn't see it come down, but it has to be in those trees. That was hit so well. 
literally perfect it just drew a little bit too much okay so we're gonna have to go down there we're probably unless we can find coals we're probably gonna have to play mine which it should be fine over there but we're just gonna have to lay up and then hit a third shot onto the green instead of going for it in two okay, cole is searching for his ball over there in the trees i don't think he's gonna find it and even if he does probably won't be playable so it looks like we're going to be using mine over here in the right side of the rough. Uh, it's about 250 yards to the pin still, and we'd probably go for it if there was no water in front of it. But because there's water, I'd say we're both probably just going to lay up here. Yeah, Nate just hit a little soft bait down there. Just get it down the fairway, get it running. We should have about 100 yards or so in. I'm going to go for it. It's a scramble, so why not? It's just a lost ball. It's possible, so... out of this stuff yeah you just kind of topped it into the water not topped it but hit it really too high okay we're playing 115 to the pin from here pretty good layup i kind of like this number a lot so hopefully we can actually hit two good wet shots here and put one close to the pin unlike yeah, last hole honestly i mean given recent history why would we hit it close we're just going to chip in anyway yeah we, might as well just chip in from here just put yeah, one in well. just pull out that. Yeah, a little bit. Should have a pretty good putt at it. Cut some. Okay, Cole missed to the left. But that is trickling back down towards the hole if you missed to the left. So that could end up, end up being pretty good. We'll have to see when we get up there. One of these days, I'm going to hit a wedge. Yeah, we're going to hit a good wedge shot eventually. Unfortunately, this is the last hole. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, we will have a putt below the hole here, which is where you want to be. It's gonna break a little bit right to left, it looks like. Only about 12 feet maybe, 12 to 15 feet. I think one of us can make this. Two putts at it, that's for sure. What do you see? Definitely going right to left. It goes up the hill at the end. So I wanna make sure I get it there. Looks good. Ball in. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go, baby. Amazing. Nick with the hardcore carry on this good. one. How are you and feeling? That. We reached our goal four under. Yeah. Let's get it, baby. That's a good job. Yes, sir. That'll work. Okay. It was kind of an unconventional round for us, but we did reach four under, which is about the goal that we set for ourselves. I think we wanted four or five under. But, I mean, we didn't hit the ball great all day, really, but we made some putts, made some chips, and we got the job done. That's so what you, That's what you need to make a round work. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really have, you know, scores card doesn't have any pictures on it, so... That is very true. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, can't wait to have Cole back and some more videos coming up. Can't but, wait. I'm loving the channel so far. I love being a member here. Peace and love, baby. But make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to see more uploads. Make sure the bell notifications on so you get notified whenever we post. Uh, twice a week we upload Tuesday and Friday at 3 p.m. And uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like and we'll see you guys next time.